Hello everybody, my name is uh, Derek Oliver and um, I'm going to show you how to paint a watercolour painting. Um, this one is going to be a seascape with two boats and some reflection. I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible. I'm also going to tell you uh, the way I do my techniques and also the type of materials which I use. Um, the paper I'm using at the moment is a Lockingford 200 pound weight paper, which I tend to like because it doesn't crease or buckle as much as a a lower weight paper. It's also nice and rough. So I'm actually going to um, cover the paper first of all with, uh, with water, that's the sky, and I'm going to lay down a Naples yellow. Um, the Naples yellow is a good yellow because it doesn't actually go green when you mix it with uh, or it interferes with blue. And I'm also going to use cobalt blue and I'm going to use permanent red. I'm going to use a very large hake brush. This is, a, a, first of all, a large brush to put the water on, and then I'm going to use a medium size uh, hake brush. Sometimes I might use, which I'm going to do today, is the 32 brush, which is a round brush. And then I'm going to actually use that brush and just swirl it around very quickly and very deliberately, very randomly. So I have no set moves, just very randomly around the paper. And let the paper or the, the, the water and the, and the paint fuse together and let it do its own thing. Okay, the sky I'm going to paint in with um, two brushes I'm using. One is um, a hate brush and the other one is a round uh, synthetic nylon brush. This one is a big 32 brush, which I'm going to use for the color. So first of all, I'm going to lay the water on the paper and then I'm going to put the Naples yellow on first, just very randomly. And then I'm going to add the cobalt blue and some permanent red into the cobalt blue to give it a nice type of purple color, which is nice and warm. So first of all, I'm going to tell you about the paper I'm using. This is a 200 pound top quality uh, paper, rough uh, watercolor paper, uh, which I find it helps me a great deal when I'm putting lots of water on. So I can control the buckling effect um, and I just take that down onto my board. Okay, they're gonna move down to the C. And we're gonna actually put um, the C in. I'm gonna use um, a number eight brush and I'm gonna mix the cobalt blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of black to it just to darken it a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna stroke the C in in a way that um, it's fairly uh, ragged. I'm taking this tape off to begin with, um, the masking tape, so we get the straight line. And now with the C, I'm doing like a, a dot dash, dot dash, and I'm leaving gaps for the white of the paper to come through. So it looks as if you got the spray or the surf, actually the waves of the, the sea coming towards you. And I'm gonna put about three to four lines in. Now I've finished with the sea and I'm now gonna move down to the sand and I'm gonna go back to the very large 32 brush. I'm gonna do a wet to wet and I'm actually gonna soak the paper, put plenty of water on it and I'm gonna load up the brush with raw sienna. With the raw sienna, I find a little bit too bright, so I wanna put some shadows in, um, because sand tends to have um, light and dark. So I'm gonna use a, like a raw umber, uh, just to stroke some of the, the edges in, so we get that, um, that contrast. Okay, moving on to the, the boats, there are two boats I've got in, in the picture. I don't want to be too fussy with the detail. Now I'm going to mix up a, a red, permanent red with burnt umber and I'll mix those two together. I'm also going to be mixing a very darker color which is near the hull of the boat and I'll probably be using a black or a Payne's gray for that. Even ultramarine is ideal to mix in with ultramarine, uh, sorry with uh, burnt umber because it gives you a nice dark color. So I'm going to stroke this paint in and um, leave some of the white of the paper for the edges of the boat. So you can see the top of the boat with the reflection of the sun. 
Um, top of the boat, we've got some tarpaulin, which is covering some of the fishing nets and lobster pots. And I'm going to paint those, paint those in with a very dark colour. Okay, the last part of the picture is the reflection. I'm going to actually reflect the sky, the colours of the sky, but I'm going to make them lighter than what they are on the picture. So what I'm going to use is the big 32 brush, a little bit of wet into wet once again, and I'm going to blend in the cobalt blue and a little bit of Naples yellow and also the permanent red. They were the colours I first used for the sky. So I'm going to stroke those downwards and across. So the wet into wet will give that diffused look. And if it's too, too dark, I'm going to lift some of that paint off. Now, as I start to look at the picture, I'm going to use a piece of tissue. I'm going to drag the tissue down in a straight line. That way, you'll get a lovely reflection. And that is roughly the way I would do this picture. Anyway, thank you for watching.